Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I have a faith journal process video for you. I am taking a look at Psalm 56 and doing a little bit of journaling on that. So I'm going to journal in my faith journal. This is an Archer and Olive journal that I've been working on this year. It's um, a lot of art journal, a lot of um, prayer and faith journaling. I'm, I'm really enjoying working in this particular um, book. So that's the plan for today. I will link the things that I end up using down below. Otherwise, let's go. All right. I knew that I wanted to use this Vicki Booten line, Sweet Rush. I love the bright colors. I wanted to fo focus in this journaling on the brightness that God provides because a lot of times this world feels very dark. The circumstances that we go through can feel really heavy and really defeating, but God is just light. And there, if you continue to put your trust in him, it's not guaranteeing that there um, won't be hard times because in fact, there most definitely will, but he is there to lighten and brighten. Um, and so I'm so thankful for that. So I picked up this paper. I loved the circle look and I love the layered look. So I'm going to be using that, but I decided before I put that down, I'm going to really embrace the idea of these circles. And to me, the circles really meant focus because when I was studying the Psalm this morning, I was just reminded about how when I start feeling really down about things that are happening in the world, I just need to really focus focus in, like draw into this circle of trust and faith with God and that that will bring me through. And it's when I start spreading out and getting my eyes in all different directions and being really overwhelmed um, that I start to lose that focus. So we're going with circles all over the place and I'm just using some acrylic paint. I have some Dina Wakely paint and some Jane Davenport paint and I'm creating circles. I'm using a big flat brush on my page to create these fun circles and it's going to end up looking kind of like a twister board, not going to lie. And I'm not sure why that's the kind of image that was coming into my head, but it was. And so I just ran with it. So we're going with a pattern, diagonal pattern here, um, adding in all of these super bright circles. This is a really easy way. You can see all I'm doing is kind of pressing down and turning. It's not perfect circles. I definitely could have, you know, had a stencil or something, but I was going for imperfect anyway. And you'll see that as I start to add a little bit more the paint that I'm using, the Jane Davenport paint and the Dina Wakely paint is great because it is flat paint. It does not have a sheen to it. So it's very easy to write over the top of, and that's going to become really important as I continue to layer on this page. So do you see the twister board starting to come up? This also, you'll see in this process, I have so many repetitive things I do. And I, it's, it's something I love in faith journaling because when you're doing an easy repetitive thing, it allows your mind to quiet. And to me, that's when I can um, really hone in on what God has put on my heart and really reflect. And it's in that repetitiveness that um, it allows my brain to just come down and um, leaves space and room for God to speak to me. All right, I'm using my Micron pen and we are highlighting the messiness of these circles by just kind of drawing a few messy circles around each one. And I love how that came out. I love that look. I've always loved the look of the messy circles. And I think when I've tried to do it before, I've tried to be too um, particular about how messy my circles look, if that even makes sense. But I just am totally digging how this worked. Now, here's the part that took the longest. And again, this is that repetitive thing that I was talking about before. I wanted to really focus in on three words that I believe kind of work in a cycle in my faith life. And those were trust, faith, and praise and how I need all three of those. And when one starts to kind of um, wane or one starts to decrease, I need to kind of pump up the other two to help lift it back up. It's like they were all dependent on each other. So this is a stencil. I think this one is from Illustrated Faith and I'm just using it um, to write out the words trust, faith, and praise over and over and over again through the stencil. Yes, it took a really long time. This has sped up a great deal, um, but that's okay. Like I said, the repetition is really important for me in my faith journaling um, 
to spend that time in that because my brain is just always going like a thousand miles a minute. I always have a to-do list. I always am thinking of the logistics of the day. And so when I'm able to calm down and do something like this, it really, um, opens up that space in my head for God to speak to me. And I just spent time reflecting on some of the study that I had done that morning and some of the thoughts that I had on things going on in the world and how I just needed to let those go and lean in on these three things. So I will finish putting this on the page and look how fun that background is. I'm in love with it. I thought it was so cool looking. This is something I definitely want to repeat. The rest of this page comes together pretty fast because of course the bulk of the work was in the background. So I'm going to cut this circle in half because we're going to do kind of like a, a sunrise kind of feel. I know it's not the colors of the sun, but again, we're just embracing all of the bright colors. So cutting this in half, I probably could have pulled out a paper trimmer, but you guys know me. I'm just going to do my best. Cut it in half. I fold it so that I can make sure that the middle is going in the gutter of the page, that it hits the right part. And then I'm being pretty generous with the adhesive but on the curved edge there I'm not going all the way to the edge because I know that I'm wanting to put some things behind this piece and so I leave a little bit of an opening there's plenty of adhesive down but I will be able to slide some ephemera pieces behind here so that I can practice um, some layering so here are the sweet rush ephemera I have journaling pieces I have tags I bought all of the ephemera and all the things from this particular uh, scrapbooking line because I love love me some Vicky Boone. So we're going to label some different pieces. I'm looking for something that I could use as like a journaling spot, a prayer spot. And so I do find this cool little notebook paper and that'll tuck in right over there. That's where I can put my prayer journaling. I plan on writing out the verses of the Psalm that I was focused on. I'm going to write that in the large circle. And then I'm just filling the rest with some bright colors. It's kind of loosely rainbow theme as we go from the left to the right with pinks and oranges and yellows and ending in greens and blues. Um, not exclusively, but somewhat. I just wanted to add a little floral here too. So you can see how I left room to tuck things behind that um, kind of rainbow look for the half circle. So I'm just making sure everything will fit. And once I get it all in place, then I go back and start adding adhesives. So you can play with your layering a ton um, this way because it's actually anchored pretty well right there. And now I just need to um, go back and add the adhesive so that everything sticks in its place. And it's really, I mean, this is a bright, fun journaling page and it wasn't super hard to put together. Um, it was just a little bit methodical. And then it was picking a scrapbooking line that inspired me that I loved, like images and colors that you love, then go for those for your faith journal. You don't have to fit a certain mold. You don't always have to use pastels. You don't always have to use bold colors. If you prefer neutrals, then go with that. Go with something that's going to speak to your heart. All right, once all of those are in place, then I will grab that same micron pen and I'm going to write out the verses of the Psalm that I was focusing on. And they read, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. In God I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? And that's Psalm 56 verses 3 and 4. I decided to go around the arch of what now kind of looks like a rainbow to me. So I'm going to fill in all of that. But it did feel like there was a big blank spot kind of on the bottom section. And so I ended up grabbing one more ephemera piece that I will put and it says looking on the bright side and I know that some people think that that means ignoring the the bad things that are happening and to me that's not it it's it's recognizing those things it's acknowledging the feelings and the emotions that that those bring up in us but then it's taking that and laying it at God's feet and that's something that um, I'm really trying to focus on doing so that I, you know, don't get too overwhelmed with the state of things around me. Once that is done, then I will also end up writing the word believer because it says, hello, my name is believer. I'll add that over on the green tag. And then I'll do a little bit of journaling, just a quick prayer journal um, where I write, Dear Lord, when the world feels dark, I hold on to the trust I have in you. You are my light and my hope. And it's just a great reminder for me and something that really hit me in my quiet time. It's one of the ways I'm inspired to Bible journal is when I spend time studying, sometimes verses jump out at me and I want to journal them right away. 
that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I have all of the supplies linked down below. I also have a link to my new course all about Bible journaling and introduction to Bible journaling. So check that out over on Teachable. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. You guys are absolutely the best. I'm so thankful for your support. It's what makes it possible for me to continue here on YouTube. And I really, really appreciate that. If you want to find out more about Patreon and some of the extra perks that you receive when you head over there, um, check the link for that in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.